detailed information about what's going on. Action News Now has spoken to several witnesses. This is what we've heard. Our Telemundo anchor, Daniela Contreras, was driving down Lassen just before 9 this evening when a speeding tow truck passed her in the bike lane. Now, a different witness we spoke with said they saw that tow truck rear-end a car off the corner of the Esplanade and West Lassen Avenue. The video you're looking at is from that crash. Witnesses to that crash said a family was inside at the time and were rushed to the hospital. And this happened right in front of the Rice Bowl restaurant. Action News Now reporter Cecile Juliet is live off of Venetian Court and Lassen Avenue in Chico. Cecile, what can you tell us? There is so much happening out here that it's just hard to imagine and wrap your head around right now. We have counted at least five crime scenes, and there may be more. Everything that I've gotten so far, all the information I'm going to tell you tonight, is coming from witnesses who I've spoken to or things that I've seen myself. I haven't spoken to police yet. They have confirmed no details. But here is what I can tell you. Several crime scenes right now. I'm standing at the corner of Lassen and Venetian. And we're over here. It's uh, about Central Chico. And if you look down uh, the road, you're going to see two squad cars. I think the first one is definitely Chico Police, and the airbag has been deployed, and it's been wrecked, and there's another wrecked police car. I can't tell what agency it belongs to beyond that crime tape. I don't know if they hit each other in pursuit of the suspect or if they hit someone. I mean, I just, I just don't know yet what's happening with that. But here's one of the crime scenes where it may have started, or at least in the beginning of this crime spree by, we believe, just one man. Possibly at the a.m. p.m. at the corner of Cohasset and the S. No, excuse me, East Avenue and the Esplanade. Um, what I went and spoke with the clerk in there, and he told me around 8:30 this man came in to the a.m. p.m. He had a hatchet, and he demanded gas, not money, but ten dollars worth of gas. And they said they opened up the pump and gave him ten dollars worth of gas, and somehow he got away. I spoke with the manager of Chico. Uh, Chuck Patterson and Chico, and he said that a tow truck driver had a big orange tow truck and that he had had a flat tire and he was fixing that flat tire in front of Chico Nissan when the same man, apparently, jumped in that tow truck and took it and ran, took, drove off. And from there we know that he hit at least one car and then took off from there. So after he hit that one car, I did speak with a witness who witnessed that entire wreck. She was at the CVS pharmacy. And when he hit that four, that four, that person, that car with four people in it, there were two children and two adults, a man and a woman. And um, there were some severe injuries that witness told me. It was very upsetting, and she was very traumatized by that situation. We have more officers arriving here. So from that wreck, he apparently sped off. And this is one of those incidents in Chico where there are witnesses all over the place. This man in this uh, orange tow truck who was just driving around erratically, we've heard that he was shooting from the car. So at one point, we believe he had a, a weapon. Don't know how he got a hold of that weapon, but he also had the hatchet. Um, that rear-ended crash at CVS at, at Lassen and the Esplanade after that, he apparently went to West 11th and Holly, and that's where the tow truck is right now. I was just at that crime scene about a half hour ago, and they had that street blocked off, and then there was another house down the street on West 11th that was also taped up. So I don't know what happened at that house, but we are going to stay on this story all night. Uh, as soon as we get anything official from Chico Police, we're going to post it online. So stay with us if you want to hear the details. Wake up in the morning. First thing you do, turn on the morning show and check Facebook and actionnewsnow.com because there are many details. This is a huge investigation, multiple agencies. We don't know of any injuries yet. We haven't confirmed as far as this man or Chico Police, although I can tell you that those four people in the car were injured with who he rear-ended at the CVS pharmacy. So this is just going to go on all night. Stay with us online, and uh, we'll keep you posted. Lauren, back to you. Cecile, thank you. And as Cecile said, uh, there are a lot of scenes being investigated.